You know, retro games have gotten ridiculously expensive these days. My friend mentioned he wanted to play Chrono Trigger, and I figured it would be a good gift to track down for him. So there I am on eBay, searching Chrono Trigger for SNES, and... Well, sorry buddy, I love you as a friend, but I don't love you that much. So the SNES version is not going to be an option. What else did it come out on? The DS? Not much better. PlayStation? Okay, this one is much more affordable. Wait a minute. Silver discs? Now, if you know anything about the original PlayStation, this is weird. All original PS1 games I've ever seen have a black bottom. That's what they've been known for. Even Sony said themselves it was used as an anti-piracy measure, even though that turned out to be total BS. Black ink is added to the plastic to give the CD its distinctive, cool, PlayStation-only look. This also helps protect the CD from illegal copying. The first thing I thought was, maybe these were pirated copies? So, I looked into it and wanted answers to at least two questions for myself. One, why would there exist silver PS1 discs? And two, why is this the cheapest copy of Chrono Trigger I can buy in the year 2023? Now, if you run a quick Google search on the topic, you can come across a great article by GameRave. The article reads, For almost a decade, Square Enix has been quietly selling reprints of some of their most popular role-playing games on their online store. The catch is that the original PlayStation games hide a secret. They're molded in the standard silver plastic. Six total games represent the silver bottom subset. Wait a minute, so Square Enix has been reprinting PS1 games for how long now? Well, there's no date on the article, so I can't know for sure how long this has been going on. The article also has a photo gallery of the PS1 variants, and it appears that most of them have been hobbled together with leftovers at the factory. They don't even have holographic stickers under the shrink wrap like the older PS1 games did back in the day. Brandon Sheffield brought up the topic of these silver discs on Twitter in 2020, and Josh Fairhurst from Limited Run Games responded with the following. All PS1 games are out of print now. SIEA ended PS1 production completely in August 2019, and even prior to that it was extremely limited in the sense that the publishers needed to have original approved artwork files, which most no longer had. If you haven't heard of them, Limited Run Games provides low print runs of games for current gen consoles, but they also have a history of publishing games on older consoles after they've run their course, such as the PS Vita, PS3, and Wii U. So if anyone would know specifics about this, it would be them. So that answers question two. This copy of Chrono Trigger on PS1 is so cheap because Sony and Square Enix have been reprinting these at least until 2019, which is just insane to think about. As for question one, why are the reprints silver discs instead of black? That one still doesn't have a definitive answer. The black polycarbonate discs made for the original PS1 have been used as late as 2015 for the pressing of Marilyn Manson's album, The Pale Emperor. According to an article on NME, the album's art directors, Hassan Rahim and Willow Peron, had their production manager, Brian Schumann of Concord Music, source the CDs from Sony directly, meaning the hardware the duo worked with came from the exact plant as the first PlayStation's discs. So we know Sony at least helped with sourcing these discs for Manson's album. No number on how many of the physical copies were made. Sales data of the album probably won't help, as in 2015, most people were buying albums digitally or streaming them. The most likely theory one could assume is the silver back CDs are probably available in larger quantities and for cheaper. With these being limited print runs of a few games only, made for a game console released in 1994 and sold exclusively on Square Enix website with little to no advertising that I could find, I'm sure Sony was definitely not trying to spend any more than they had to for these. So that more or less answers question two. But there's something else I forgot to mention. The original Game Rave article provides a link to the Square Enix store where the PS1 games were sold. So now we have a third and final question. Can you still order a brand new PS1 game from the original publisher's website in the year 2023? If you click the link to the Square Enix store and set the filter to all games slash consoles and scroll for a very, 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 very long time, you can come across the only PS1 game still in stock on Square Enix website, Final Fantasy Origins. So I ordered it. So I'm gonna go ahead and unbox this the best I can. This is the package after I've scribbled out all the shipping details. Um, but yeah, it just came like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and there we go. Yeah. But 
this is the official box as you can see without having to show all my information it says it's from the Square Enix store so it definitely came from there which is just super bizarre but yeah this is a brand new copy of Final Fantasy Origins Final Fantasy 1 and 2 on the PS1 um, you can see it's published by Square Enix, not Squaresoft. So it's the greatest hits reprint. And this I bought um, in this year. I don't think I'm going to open it because I do want to keep it sealed. But this is another copy of another Final Fantasy game from Square. And I want to show you what these discs look like. They are silver, unlike the original PlayStation. You know, PlayStation 1 discs are typically black. So. It's not a burned copy, it does run in a legit PS1, but yeah, this is Yu-Gi-Oh, this is Final Fantasy, and this is actually what the reprints come in on silvers, um, so, very interesting. That's pretty much everything I was able to find regarding the silver PS1 discs. I will post the link to the webpage of the store in the description, along with my sources for the video. Not sure how many are available, considering it's probably old stock from 2019. Figured I would also mention this is not a sponsored video, it's just a topic I was genuinely interested in making and sharing with other people. If there's anything you think I missed, don't hesitate to let me know. I would be fascinated about more information if it's out there. Thanks for watching.